Yeah, hello everybody, this is Cody with Ado, and today we're going to create an ORM using Notion. Basically, we're going to use Notion as our database. In order to do that, we're going to have to create pages, create a database inside Notion, create an app, an integration, etc. And we're going to do the four CRUD methods. We're going to create, we're going to read, we're going to update, and we're going to delete a record. Okay? So let's get started. First, let's gonna create the package. Okay. We're gonna need to add a .env. So we're gonna do npm e.env because we're gonna need the keys from Notion. And let's create our .env file and the index.js file. Okay. So. In our index.js file, first let's actually create the functions that let, let's call the functions that we are actually gonna call and use. Okay, so we're gonna do a read all. Okay, we're gonna do a add page. The so const page equals to wait. Uh, add data okay so we're gonna add some data into the notion let's send the data here so data and let's do data equals to an object which will declare this in a, in a little bit let's do our wait update data okay which we're gonna send the page id and we're gonna do a delete data with the patient page ID as well. Okay, I'm gonna show you when we run it in this screen how it creates, updates, and deletes the same row. Okay, we could potentially do the read all also here if we want. The read all actually it's gonna return something, so let's do ghost data uh, all data. That. Here is a cost. We can do a console of all the data if we want. And same thing with the update and delete. Okay, but for now, as we're gonna see it on Notion, it's all fine. We're gonna do a require of the .env. Okay. And uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do something interesting here. Is we're gonna set create the headers here as a as a global. Okay, so we don't send it to every single request. Okay, the headers will need the authorization, which is gonna be a better token. Here is process dot dev dot dev dot notion secret. Okay, the content type is gonna be an application JSON. And the Notion version of the API that we're gonna use, we're gonna use the 2021 version, okay? Perfect, so let's create our async functions, read all, the first one will actually this actually we're gonna send uh, it's gonna actually send like show that there's nothing you know no pages inside and the uh, the riddle should be something like this we're gonna do a try catch uh, error here console dot error. So in the result, we're gonna do a fetch here because page equals to an await of the fetch of the URL, which will be the HTTPS api.notion.com slash v1 slash databases slash um, let's do 
const database. Actually, we're gonna send it via the other. Okay, so let's do here the database ID. Okay, second. <coughs> so we're gonna read the whole database. And this is gonna be a method post, a method get, sorry. Get. And the headers are the ones that we already built up there. So that comes data equals to an await page.json and then return data. Okay, so now we have the read all. As you can see, Pretty simple thing. Let's do the, the post. So a sync function is gonna be a, a add data with the data. We're gonna do a try catch. Okay, console error. Error. And in here we're gonna do const page equals to an await fetch https api.notion.com slash v1 slash um, so how this works is in order to create an a data into the database like an input into the database we need to create a page Remember how Notion works, you have pages. So basically the idea here is that we're gonna add a page inside the database and that page will have whatever data we want, right? So basically the endpoint that we need right here is pages, okay? And of course, this is gonna be, as we are creating a page, it's gonna require our method to be a post, okay? The headers, we already have them. And the data will be the shape of stringify of data. Okay. And as above, same thing, const data equals to an await of the page of JSON and return that data. Okay. Let's do now the oh we are renaming that let's say at the return or page created it goes to that okay right now let's do a sync function we have the update data update data <coughs> and let's also send the data that we want to update okay so it will receive the data and the page id page id Okay. And what are we gonna do here? So we're gonna do the uh, try catch error. So dot error here. Okay. And let's do the const page equals an await of the fetch of https api.notion.com slash v1 slash pages slash our page id page id so we're gonna update that page the method it's gonna be a patch because we're gonna we are updating the headers we have them and the data it's gonna be a shapes.stringify uh, of data okay we're gonna do cost page updated equals to page.json wait okay and return page updated Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna do the delete. Basically, it's gonna be 
the same thing as this. Let's copy and paste. Delete data. Okay. But uh, but the difference is that instead of sending the data, it's gonna archive the page. Okay. So we're gonna do a json.stringify and then we'll do archive true. Okay. So there's no hard deletes, it's soft deletes. Okay. So we are patching that same page and we're gonna sending hey this archive okay so basically we could do instead of all these you could potentially do await update data on the archived let's actually do this that's gonna be nicer we're gonna do the archive true and the page id okay so basically we're gonna uh, the delete page it's gonna update the page with the archive true okay so let's do that makes sense perfect now let's actually get all these credentials so we need to have the database id and the notion secret okay so let's go to notion and let's do all that so you go to notion.so slash my integrations okay let's create an integration let's call it coding with hello okay you can add a logo if you want and then submit okay in here you have the code let's show it copy and we are here let's put this lower perfect and we have the notion secret here now we need to go to notion to your notion page so you go to notion.so we'll create a new page here let's call it oh not new space sorry a new page here call it a database okay and let's open that open in full page okay let's minimize this cool so now we're gonna create a view here so we're gonna have a table perfect and now we are gonna add a connection here with our api app so here it is when you go to our connections coding metado confirm and last but not least we have this first uh, multi character it's the ID of the database so we go copy that info we paste it here and now we should be able to see so let's do new database here okay let's delete all that and basically now we should be able to run this okay So let's go on this function from index.js and let's see are we calling all the functions? This ID and the title. Oh yeah, we missed we need to add some data here. Okay, so that's gonna be easy. I'm gonna just copy and paste some info here. Okay, so we're gonna do this, is gonna be the object properties, let's say new record. Okay, and for the data. Is the new data let's do data equals to updated record okay now we'll see a new record and an updated record okay and let me debug this so yeah 
the, uh, the problem here is that we need to send the parent. So what, what does it mean? What does it mean to send a parent? Okay, so let me explain to you. When we create a new page, we need to actually say that the, this page is actually going to be inside a, like inside the database, okay? So we're going to send a parent. I'm going to send the parent ID. The database ID will be the process.m.database ID, okay? <coughs> so now we'll have a database. So let's clear this out. Let's let me remove this console dog that I added here for the page created. Let's run this again. So, okay, so after a bit of the babbling, I forgot I was sending here data instead of body. So now, yeah, it should be body instead of data for the add data and update data. Okay, it's body. So, what we're gonna do, so in order to also know what's going on here, is uh, we're gonna add here all data, some console logs to know all the processes, okay? So console log add data, we got the console log update data, and then delete data, okay? So let's a little, a little bit smaller here, perfect, okay? So let's run this, uh, what do you do there? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. That is. Let's open that. Uh, get link directly. Okay. <coughs> so this database. Okay. So let's run this. You need them. Update the record and delete. So add data, update data, delete data. We could add the read all also here, for example, after the update data. Um, let's do a let here. So we also read here the information. Okay, so no index yes. So same thing, read the all, add data, update, delete. And in here, in the old data, you'll be able to see now in here that we have all the pages. The parent ID, no, this is the page. And the database, that sort of thing. So basically you can get all the pages from here, okay? And you have the URL, sort of thing, the page ID. So yeah, so you have now all the information that you need to actually use Notion as a database, okay? So yeah, thank you for another episode for being here. Uh, happy coding. And if you have any suggestions for me on like which API should I work on next, just send it in the comments and I will get into that. I have my Project 100 here and yeah, I have a lot of other APIs to investigate, a lot of other APIs to share with you guys the connections. So yeah, see you on the next time. Bye-bye.